Hello everyone, back to Memo. Last time we have this unfortunate luck of running into this girl and apparently she's our neighbor. Apparently luck. Uh, so we were, we saw her through the window and she freaked out and now this happens. We're going to school again, I guess. Sorry, but I don't follow unreasonable requests. How is it that unreasonable? I need to take this train to school. Wait, I totally forgot. Is she basically saying not to take the train? So? Just walk to school, you freaking dumbass! So I stay to catch the train. Catch the next one! Oh, okay. I'll be late, so no. Yeah, yeah, she's asking what, like, I'm sorry, but you're just too creepy, so can you just take the next bus? Because I can't waste my time with creepy people. I don't care if you're light or anything. I only care about my needs. <sighs> Not my problem. Of course. Annoying. I don't think annoying is the right word. I think it's absolutely rude. The train arrives at... and stops. I step into the train shortly followed by Liz. However, despite the vast majority of the seats in this car being unused, yeah, I know, ghost train. Why are you sitting next to me? I- what? I always sit in this spot, so move! Now Liz is just being a bully. As if. I know, move! Oh. Thanks. I couldn't bear the, the- bear the though- I couldn't bear the though of her yelling and poking at me throughout the rest of the trip. Liz stands up and walks towards the front of the train. Peace! I relax a little. She sits next to me on the other side. Why? Yeah, why? This is my other usual <laughs> Liz, are you for real? Are you real? Are you for real real? I give up. I would too. I'd just be like, are you serious? Okay, fine. I hate my life anyway. In the end, I move farther away. However, since we get off at the same stop, we walk to, s walk to school together. My efforts were rendered temporarily by this unavoidable situation. Although she could have made an effort to get away from me, though. Sigh. You sigh a lot! <laughs> she, it's because of you. Well, at least he's just out and basically saying it. Ha! Huh, such a thing can't happen! I'm too freaking amazing! Well, it just did. Oh, gee! Oh, my! Okay! Wow, you must be retarded! Are you okay? Yeah, Liz is just a downright bully. Just hey, ellipse, ellipse. Liz! Oh, I forgot about this guy. Urk! The weird looking guy with spectacles skips over to this direction, bearing a sickeningly gleeful countenance. After yesterday, I know. I know feel like I know feel like punching him. You again? My goodness, how are you today? That's you. What are you doing with my goddess? Stop calling me that. I'm gonna say it. We live together. We walked to school holding hands after sh she woke me up in bed this morning. Shortly after making me a home cooked breakfast. Excited ellipse! What, my goddess, is that true? Of course it's not true! Liz sends him flying with a thunderous blow and Kos Kosuke... Hopefully it's that. Lands face first on a patch of concrete a few seconds later. Yeah, she's a... Yep. Idiot! Idiot, what did he do that for? Cause it's funny. Yeah, revenge. Arg, I have no time for this! Then why are you here? Lynn runs off to class ahead of me. Go to your seats. Class starts now! She glares at me. Erk. 
for a moment I forgot that happened yesterday. Out of the way, Sinji! I sigh. This again. Recline in my chair. Sinji! Kazumi? Pushing past a few students, Kazumi walks into the class classroom. I'm so glad I found you. Could you? Hasegawa Senji! Uh, this guy again too. What do you want? You, come to the rooftop with me! Sorry, don't swing that way. What is with these guys being so extreme? Like, oh, oh, I'm stalking you, so I guess, uh, not really stalking, just accidentally stalking you, so I guess that counts as sexual harassment. Oh, you want to meet me on the rooftop? Apparently you won't have gay sex with me, okay. Sorry, I don't swing that way. Okay. Oh, it's... As it takes a second for what I said to register on this face. Just like that word. No, not like that! What's with your hair? I was completely worth it. It was funny as heck. For some reason it was so funny. Sorry, Kazumi. What were we say you saying? Well... Ha, look- Ha, look over here! I try to have a conversation. What is it, more? Everyone in this class are just so mean to each other. Your notes, I'll burn them! Okay. Those notes? I wrote them down while half asleep. They might be illegible, but they're my best bet. Give them back! Now! Come with me and I will! Um... I mean... <clears throat> Kosuke takes a lighter from his pocket- What? Pocket and holds it under the notebook. Okay, um, I don't know in other Asian schools that they allow lighters, but like something that like that's not even allowed at our school. So he's breaking the rules. Should be breaking the rules. Fine, I'll go. Jeez. Better ha hu ha hu ha. He skips away. Okay. He's a little weird, but I wouldn't assume he wants to do anything with Senji. I mean, I'm pretty sure any homosexual person wouldn't even date Senji since he is the most lamest human being on the planet. I can't believe Senji thinks he would get lucky at all with anyone. Uh, sorry Kazumi. I'll talk to you later. Wait, and that's rude too! I mean, you should just at least talk to Kazumi. He's not ever gonna get lucky with anyone. I followed Kosuke to the roof, running a little to keep up with his flamboyant skip run. You better look at yourself before you judge other people, Senji. Now that you're here! Kosuke holds my notebook in the air, prepared to throw it off the building. This had better be worth the trouble. What is... Your relationship with Liz? Non-existent. <laughs> okay, I'll give him a point there. That was, that's pretty funny. And I don't know the way he's, why it's text out. Lies, I saw you with her this morning. Together. Well, I just gave it away that it was a lie, but I kind of joked around saying that we were basically together. I gave you my answer. Now give me back my notes. Yeah. Now this is becoming a little bit more than frustrating. What more does he want? Why not? Never! Answer my question. I should have never tried reasoning with him. So then he... What? Oh, it's you again! I think Liz does this on purpose. She, it's not by accident. She blames it on other people. She just, she, Liz is the stalker. She just like, oh, you're stalking me even though I'm going in the same direction as you. So I think Liz is just being a total troll right now. Lizzie, don't be mean. In the midst of this, both Liz and Kazumi had approached the rooftop chatting. My goddess! 
Yeah, I don't know where it is. No! Great, I was just about to make some headway. Sanji, I was trying to say, before could you help me out after school again? Okay. Okay, let's end it here. After, okay. Next time, next time I assume we're going to help Kazumi out with something again. Okay. So far, Kazumi's my, oh, my main girl right here. The rest of the characters are just... They make me a little sad inside, let's just say. So until next time, to be continued.